So apparently our dog, Millie, likes to come with me when I bring Jack to school. Hey, Millie. Millie, what are you doing? Millie? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stay there. Stay there. She, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the vlog. So, Jack, bye. Bye, Jack. Where's Jack? Say bye, Jack. this turn real quick I was watching a video from Cody Warner the other day and he was talking about whether vlogging is dead or not and to a degree with the YouTube algorithm um, it seems like it is but he said something that I 100% agree with which is um, when he makes his own videos there's just no way he cannot do some vlogging and then do a tutorial of some sort of what he's doing and um, th that is 100 percent how my youtube channel is based around um i am a proud add creative person and you know i can't just do something simple over and over and over again i need to make it fun so here in new orleans i just dropped my son off to school I have some work to do and part of the work that I do is I use a piece of software for culling called Aftershoot and uh, let me show you what it does. It kind of gets a jump start on culling the images meaning it helps me find images quickly that are like the closed eyes, um, which images are a little blurry, um, you know which ones does it call the favorite images and what's great about that is that when you have a wedding of like 2,000 images um, you and I both know if you're a wedding photographer how hard it is to sit and just call a wedding and uh, it's really nice to hit start and uh, come back in like 20 minutes and your whole wedding is called to a point of where you just need to look at it and go back to different folders to make sure what is what but it has absolutely become part of my workflow and uh, let me show you why right now. Okay, so when you jump into Aftershoot for the first time, you're gonna see this home screen. And the easiest thing to do is come over here where it says new album. And all you gotta do is go find the raw folder that you wanna call. Um, click on your little folder dealio here for me. This is a wedding I recently photographed. That's the main folder. Here's the RAWs. Just hit import this folder. And on the top right, you're going to see over here um, it importing. Now, what's neat is that you can come down here and click on start culling after the import, meaning it'll just start dividing images into the separate folders. So when you do that, okay. It's going to give you options. I leave mine on moderate for culling blurred photos, grouping duplicates, and selections in duplicate set, and um, how many sneak previews. The sneak previews to me makes no sense whatsoever because the computer never picks images that I want to use as sneak previews, so I have it turned off. Um, it's, it's good. It's not that good. Um, so the moderate is all I care about. So look, so I have closed eye detection, that's turned on. Blur detection, turned on. Duplicate detection, turned on. And all you do is hit start culling. Okay, so it's going to run through the import process and then it's going to do those separate folders that we just clicked. 
Now, just a heads up while this is happening here, um, I'm gonna fast forward this to get to the, to the point, but the first couple of times you use Aftershoot, most likely you're not gonna like it. Um, the reason why is because you're in such of the process of doing this yourself. You know, you have a format, you have a way of, you know, a workflow for culling your sessions, your weddings, and you know, you, you, it may bum you out that maybe it puts things in folders that you wouldn't have done. But this is what's very important that I had to learn because I downloaded Aftershoot and I used it and then I deleted it off my computer. And then a couple months later, uh, I did it again. I downloaded it and I used it again with a more open mind. And this is the important part that I'm going to show you because what I do like about what it does is exactly this. Um, okay, time remaining. I will be right back when this thing is done. Okay, so after shoot just finished, it took about 28 minutes and 46 seconds to cull this wedding. Um, so let's show you this, okay? It puts it into filters, right? Puts it into folders, selected, meaning these are the good ones that it finds good. Duplicates, blurred, closed eyes, and uh, and that's it. So let's do this. So export 981 photos. Okay. This is what I do. Okay. I come to export folder and you say choose the folder where you want to move or copy your photos. Click here. I'm going to go to that folder that I just did right here. Right. This is my RAWs. This is the folder. I hit select. Now, what I do is I turn off the sneak previews. I turn on duplicates, closed eyes, and blurred. Then down here, I don't move the photo. I, mean, I don't copy the photos because I don't want a, another set of this job because that puts two weddings on your computer now. So you're just adding space. What I do is I click move the photos into these folders. All right. So click move, turn on, say move photos. It does this very quickly. And this is real time. Boom. So you see what it did? It made these folders for these things. So now I'm going to go to capture one. You can do this in Lightroom, I assume. But in capture one, now when I go to that wedding, OK. Rebecca. Okay, now when I go to that wedding, these are the folders that the RAWs are moved into. So when I click on selected, these are basically what it thinks are the best of the best. Now, of course, I still have too many right here. So you can go through these and narrow them down a little bit more. Now, this is where I don't want you getting aggravated. Okay, because I was in the very beginning. It's like, oh, you know, like really is the part the point of this software is to cull down and I'm still going through this. This is what you need to understand, though. Something as simple as closed eyes. Okay, clicking on the closed eyes folder. These are all the images that it says has closed eyes in it. This is where your eyes normally bleed when you're looking at all these group shots. And you're like, who has a closed eye? Mom kind of looks closed. Look, she's closed. She's looking away. That's that's pretty cool, actually. Let's go to the next one. All right, who's closed? Whose eyes are closed? Oh, look, she's closed. So coming back over here to selected, and let's go to the girls. So now we're looking at these, and look at that. Look, they're all open. I'll be darn. So this is where I trust Aftershoot to where I'm not killing myself looking at each image to see whose eyes are opened. You know, that's the tedious process of culling a job is to go left, left, left. Now, let me just quickly come over here, do my glossy sharp indoor action. Now look, see, her eyes are closed and she's looking down. So why is this in the OK folder? This is where I get a little bit confused with aftershoot um, but 
you'll have this one that's fine. You'll have this one that all looks pretty darn good. You know? So to have one to get rid of, where's the one? This one, I don't, I don't, I have no idea why it left this one with her eyes closed. I have no idea. Um, look, she ain't looking, she's looking down. This is obviously not a good one, so I'm gonna zero the stars so it's not starred. And then when I come over here, I'm gonna go, let me just look at my five stars. So as I'm additionally culling this thing down, I'm only looking at the best of the best, you know? But something as simple as that. Now, when you come over here and you go duplicates, you can come back and look through this. And it's like, okay, I have quite a few of these images to look at, but these it already said was dupes. So just real fast, is this a better expression of her laughing compared to like another image I already have? It says it's a duplicate. So let's go to selected. All right, let's go look at her reading. These. Let me raise this up. I'm just gonna scroll down. Now these are the ones that it said were good. So if I'm looking at these, are they good? Am I missing a better smile? That's a good smile like the other one. That's a great smile. You know, if you wanna get rid of a few of these, you're, you're more than welcome to. But I have to say, I normally go through my selected images first, and then when I feel like I need to refer back to another image, I have these other folders to go to. So something as simple as the closed eyes, you know, look how many it said was closed eyes. You know, are they closed? Let's, let's see. Yeah, they're looking down. So for it to just help you with that many closed eyes, Okay, that's a lot that you normally have to do yourself. Um, the duplicates are great because you can go back to an image that's already there. The blurred images, the only thing you need to know about blurred images is that sometimes it's not blurry. Sometimes it does a little bit of movement like a candid or something. So if you see any images in here that you may want to keep, just go look at them real quick and say, okay, what is wrong with this image? You know? And that's it. Like this one. What's wrong with this? See, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not blurry. That's not blurry at all. Interesting. So if you're using any depth of field action, it sees that as blurred. You know? So you can absolutely refine this a lot more than what the software is doing. You can also hit the cull again. Um, but it actually helps me to just put, select your faves, let me go look at them really quick. Let me go look at closed eyes images, make sure they're not any artsy shots looking away that I wanted. Like her eyes closed. Her eyes are not closed. And that's why they're in the selected folder. <laughs> I thought I was looking at closed eyes. Oh my gosh. That's all I do. And trust me, it does take a lot of time still to cull a thousand image wedding, but this software just separating the duplicates and the closed eyes is huge for me. That saves a lot of time. So I at least know I can look at my selected folder and eight out of 10 times it's picking really good images. You know, there's just a few that may not be great, but it's AI, you know, it's automated software. It's a computer just looking at zeros and ones and trying to, you know, graph a face and go do this very quickly to kind of help you out. So no, it's not perfect yet, but man, it is really cool and it's only going to get better. Man, it is super glary out here right now. So I'm just against the fence to have a little reflective light. Anyway, um, listen, I'm going to end this video here so you guys have something to uh, go do. Follow the after shoot thing, download the trial. Uh, go ahead and leave in the comments any questions you may have. I am kind of using this thing from the start as well so we can answer questions together as far as uh, some usability. You ever try running outside to do a quick ending of your vlog and then your AC comes on and it's like, really, man? <laughs> or your phone rings. 
All right, you guys, watch after shoot. My Ellie is not feeling good. She has the flu. I'm working from home. Let me go take care of her. Uh, another video coming out very shortly. Let me go. Later.